Another battle today for Sheriff Ohio as a decision was made that could impact whether or not he can enforce immigration laws in his jails. There was a hearing today at the County Board of Supervisors, a hearing that promised a lot of fireworks. Cronkite News reporter Mike Pelton with you, joins us from the newsroom with details. Mike? Liz, for the past two years, the federal government has given Sheriff Arpaio power to enforce immigration laws on the streets as well as in the jails. Yesterday, we learned that ICE had stripped the sheriff of that power on the street, so today a lot of eyes were on the County Board of Supervisors as they decided whether or not the sheriff could still enforce them in his jails. Motion in a second. Comment. Tension filled the air as speakers lined up, people both for and against an agreement allowing Sheriff Arpaio to enforce immigration law in his jails. Well, we urge you not to participate in this program any longer. I'm in favor of uh, Sheriff Joe. Anything he's doing, I'm in favor of. The agreement, called the 287G, has been renegotiated, with the federal government letting Arpaio know he can no longer enforce immigration law on the streets solely in his jails, but only as long as the Board of Supervisors approve the agreement. Agreement. Arpaio says being able to enforce immigration law is keeping our streets safer. When you keep 30,000 people in jail that cannot hit the streets, that's why crime is down. And Arpaio had plenty of supporters at the meeting who feel the same way. This man, Alan Becker, told the board that if the agreement isn't approved, there could be dire consequences. I live in a 55 and older retirement park. I tell them, if the supervisors stop him from doing his job, get a weapon. You're going to need it. Other speakers showed just as much passion for denying the new agreement. I just do not appreciate people being very hateful towards immigrants because we are all immigrants. After all the debate, you're out of order, sir. Okay. And haggling back and forth, the board finally ruled 3 2, approving the agreement pending one last important signature. The Board of Supervisors is now waiting for a signature from ICE before it officially signs the agreement. Now, something else that was a little interesting about the final vote, the two supervisors who voted against the agreement were Mary Rose Wilcox and Don Stapley. Both have been targets of investigations by the Sheriff's Office. Live in the newsroom, Mike Pelton, Cronkite News. And Sheriff Joe Arpaio claims there's a little known law that will allow him to continue his street raids. Experts say there are two possible scenarios. The sheriff can enforce state laws against human smuggling, fraud and identity theft, or he can detain suspect suspected illegal immigrants until federal agents arrive, if he has probable cause. Experts say that's called inheritance power. It's not a very little known. Every jurisdiction across the country knows that there is an inherent police power to enforce criminal statutes, federal criminal statutes, if the state has decided that it will do so. And Professor Cruz says if Arpaio chooses to use inheritance power, it will likely be up to the courts to decide whether or not it's in his jurisdiction.